Hello everybody, this is Louis from Prom, and today we are back with another home tour video. Now we are at the Wisteria. We have shown you Wisteria Mall in a few of our other videos before but we have never actually shown you the residential component. So today, we are giving you an inside look at a 3 bedroom plus study, 969 square feet that is currently for sale. Now before we talk about the unit, let's talk about the project first. Now talking about the facilities of the project, the most obvious one will be the 50 meters lab pool. There's also the children's playground, children's water play area and also a fitness deck as well. There's also a BBQ area flanked by also the clubhouse that has a function room, gymnasium, steam rooms and changing rooms and also a jacuzzi pool right outside the clubhouse. So the Wisteria was built in 2018 and it's actually a mixed development project right, consisting of a 216 unit residential condo component consisting of 3 blocks, maximum 12 floors and the lowest floor is the 4th floor. There's also a 2 storey retail mall, there's a 1st floor and a basement level and the retail mall is actually a managed mall so there is a good variety of stores that cater to your every need. Places like NTUC Fairprice Finest, Coffee Bean, there are a few fast food restaurants as well including KFC, Long John Silver's, there's a food court, bakery, restaurants to name some of the few. So we're done with the project and facilities, let's take a look at the unit itself. So here we are at the unit, like I said earlier on, this is a 3 bedroom plus study, 969 square feet and where's the study? To my right, this is the study room. So this is enclosable if you really want to, right, with doors here. And if we step into the study room, now if you can see what the owner has done is that they have renovated it uh, into sort of a helper's room. This platform bed can actually fit a super single size bed. You will also have, let me show you here, Wardrobe space, right? So this wardrobe space, you can actually easily fit your clothes, uh, some of your uh, luggages as well. And this platform bed right here, right, is also storage. So the main thing about this whole house is the owners trying to maximize their storage space. And if you look, there's a window, there's an aircon. So you don't have to worry about ventilation inside this study room. Now, if you want to convert this back into a study area, very easy. The wardrobe that I showed you just now, you can actually do up a pull-out desk so you can have a complete bed and desk work set up here. And what I really, really like about this study area is that it is separated away from the other bedrooms, the common rooms and the master bedroom. This helps you to separate your work area from your rest area, which is really perfect for current work from home. Uh, norm, right? So let's take a look at the rest of the house. Now looking at the rest of the house, let's take a look at first the dining area. Now as you can see, this dining area can easily fit 6 to 7 people. So no problem for hosting friends or families here. And why it can hold so many people in just this dining space alone is because they have built this bench area. Now this bench area, really special. At the bottom here is storage as well. Right? So the common theme around the whole house, uh, maximize storage. And also, there are two sockets here. Right, these sockets are very convenient if you want to work from your desk area or, or from your dining area. But eventually, what the owners use it for is for steamboat. Lah. No, your choice. Now, if you look at the opposite side of the dining table, you can see here, let's start from here. From the shoe cabinetry to the storage area at the top, to the storage area at the top here, to the TV console, you have a top and bottom storage as well. Runs with the whole team to maximize storage. Now this piano area here, I think it will look really good if you can convert this into a display cabinet. It will look nice with a glass display cabinet. You can put your collectibles, your trophies, what have you. Right? If you take a look at the TV console area, all right, this TV space can actually fit a much bigger TV if you really want to. And you can see that the bottom TV console, this is tinted, so you can really hide your wires and stuff, um, um, your DVD players, whatever players you have, Xbox, PlayStation, can fall hide here. One from side, right? And as we move to the back over here, you can see that there's a balcony. Let's go and take a look. Now here we are at the balcony. Now this balcony has a really good space and also there's a wall at the side so that you can actually put all your stuff here, you can put a cupboard here. If this was all open, it would be very hard for you to put any storage stuff over here. And also if you're looking at the direction, this is north-south facing, 
behind me is direct south. And out of six stacks of three bedroom plus study, there's only two stacks in the project that is direct north-south. So you can rest assured that there will not be any west sun coming into the unit also. Now, if we take a look at here, all right, for those of you who have kids, uh, Invisigrill is already built for you. So you save a lot of cost here. And from here to the next block, all right, there's a very big block to block distance. So you can have wind ventilation into the area without having to sacrifice on privacy also. Okay, so what we have here is a fully enclosable kitchen. It has everything you need inside a kitchen. A gas cooker, hood and hob, oven. You have a fridge space. Uh, you can even put a two-door fridge here. And also worth mentioning is that originally the developers provided a solid countertop. But what the owners did was that they changed the entire countertop to become a quartz countertop. Much better in terms of quality and longevity for the entire countertop for years to come, right? And also, windows for ventilation. So this is very important if you have an enclosable kitchen with a gas cooker. Let's go and take a look at the rooms now that we are done with the kitchen, okay? So as I mentioned earlier on, this is a three-bedroom unit. So the two common rooms can easily fit a queen-size bed if you want to. One of the rooms is their boys' room. As you can see, a bunk bed. And also, I think it's really rare to find all three bedrooms to have full height glass windows. If you take a look at the other common room, they've actually converted it into their work-from-home setup, right? So this room, again, can comfortably fit a queen-size bed if you want to. Wardrobes are already done up for you from the developer's side. You have aircons inside the whole room, everything. So really nice and spacious common rooms. Now let's take a look at the master bedroom. So here we are at the master bedroom. Now this master bedroom is spacious enough to put a queen-size bed, as you can see here, with side tables. And wardrobes are already built up for you from the developer's side. Now if we take a look at the bathroom, this bathroom is really spacious, really well maintained and it has window for ventilation. It's not those kind of mechanical ventilation. And it's actually the same for the common bathroom as well. Really well maintained, spacious and also has a window for ventilation. Now if we take a look further down here, you can see that there is also a balcony in the master bedroom, right? How many master bedrooms can you find with an actual balcony outside your room? So this can be made into a usable space which the owners have already did. They have done this zip track here, right? Electronic zip track that helps you to keep out the rain, keep in the aircon and can use this as usable space. If you really want to, you can convert this into like a, like a mini study corner because the owners have actually installed electrical sockets here as well. So enough about the place, let's take a look and the location itself. Now well, let's talk about the location. Now the nearest MRT is Khatib MRT, which is 10 to 12 minutes walk away, or really just three bus stops away from the stereo. Uh, from Khatib MRT, you're really only one stop to Yishun MRT, where North Point City is, two stops to Amokyo Interchange, where the future Cross Island Line will be, and three stops from Bishan MRT Interchange to the Circle Line. It is also a straight line down to Raffles Place and City Hall MRT in the CBD area. Uh, and if you really want to drive to CBD or town area, you can either go via the SLE to CTE or Salita Westling to CTE. Now the nearest mall is of course Wisteria Mall which is just below you and North Point City is just one MRT stop away. You are also surrounded by plenty of F&B options with many coffee shops and food courts around the area. Now of course not forgetting Yishun Park Hawker Centre. For primary schools within 1km away are Huamin Primary School, Naval Base Primary School and then one of the more uh, well-known ones is Northland Primary School. For secondary school, you have Chongqing High School Yishun and North Brooks Secondary School. Now lastly, for recreation, you can head down to Safra Yishun for some rock climbing, uh, Home Team NS for the Indoor Adventure Club and of course Auto for your prawning, fishing and there's a lot of good food there as well. So if you like the unit, as usual, give us a call, drop us a DM and we will arrange a viewing immediately. This is Louis from LookProp and I'll see you in the next home tour video. Bye!